object.keys, values, and entries in JavaScript. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what each of these are, why they are useful, and then I'm gonna give some examples of using each one here so you have a good understanding of how these work. So first, let's kind of give an overview of what these methods do, and then we'll talk about why they're useful. So object.keys will give you the keys of an object. It will basically go through your entire object, and it will return an array of all the keys of your object. Object.values does the same thing, but it returns an array of all of the values of your object. And then object.entries will return an array of arrays that are key value pairs of your object. So object.keys will return an array of keys, object.values an array of values, and object.entries an array of arrays containing a key value pair of the values and keys in your object. So wh why is this useful? Why don't you just iterate over objects and iterate through your values and your keys that way? Well, in JavaScript, objects are not iterable, meaning you can't just write a for of loop over objects in JavaScript. So if I show you this here, I have an object called name and age, and it's an object containing a bunch of names and the value of those names, the names are keys, and the value of those are their age. And if I try to write this for loop over the object here, and I try to run this, what you're going to see is that I get name and age is not iterable. So I try to write this for of loop and access the values of my object here, but I can't actually iterate over this object. So in your programs, it's going to be common for you to want to get the values or get the keys of some object. But if you can't iterate over them, then what, what else should you do? Well, that's where these object methods come in that allows you to get the values, keys, and the key value pairs, the entries of an object. Now, with that said, you can use a for in loop over objects and you can iterate over an object with a for in loop and get the keys of an object. So here you can see I write for const key in name and age. So this is different than this for loop because I use the in keyword right here instead of using the of keyword. So if you use a for in keyword, you can iterate over the keys of an object. And you can see if I run this here, that this is going to print out all of the keys of my object. So one thing that you can do with objects is that you can iterate over the keys with a for in loop, but often you want the values or you want the kind of key value pairs and these other object methods can come in very handy for that. So moving on to the first object method, let's talk about object.keys. So this is what this method looks like you will be accessing the global object in JavaScript. This is the global object that JavaScript environments will give you for free. So I didn't create this object anywhere in my program right here to access it. JavaScript will give you this overall global object for free, and you can use this within your programs kind of as, as you want. So I didn't create this anywhere in my program. It's given to me for free from JavaScript. And on this object, this is where you access the dot keys and dot values and dot entries methods. So here you can see I access the dot keys method. And this method here, it takes one argument, an object. So you create an object and then you pass it into this object dot keys method. And I'll show you an example of this in just a second. And what it does, it returns an array of the keys of the object that you pass in to this method. So whatever object you pass in to object.keys, it's gonna return out an array of the keys of that object that you pass in. So here I have my object of name and age once again, and then here on line 44, I define a constant called names and I assign it to the return value of calling object.keys so I use this global object here and I access the dot keys method and then I pass in my name and age object. So what this is going to do here, it's going to return an array 
of all of the keys of my object. And I titled this names because all of my names are keys. So if I run this here, you're going to see that I do indeed get an array of all of the keys of my object. So if you want to get all the keys of an object, you can pass it into object.keys, whatever object you want, and it will return an array of those keys. Now, one thing that you can also do here is you can actually iterate over the keys just right away by calling object.keys. Now, here I would probably use a for in loop for this example just because it's a little bit more straightforward and you don't need to use the object.keys method. But just for the sake of example, I can write a for loop here and just do const key of, and then I can call object.keys and pass in my object. And this will iterate over the return value of object.keys. And if I run this, you can see that it prints out each key of my object in each iteration of that loop. So when using these methods, sometimes it can be helpful to just write a loop over them and iterate over the return value right away rather than just assigning it to a, a variable like I do here. Now, sometimes it can be more straightforward and lead to more readable code if you do assign the array to some value and then iterate over this array. So like here, I can do the very same thing here and just iterate over the names array and I can get four cons key of names and then I get the very same result. So you can do either way, but sometimes it can be useful just to iterate over it right away. So that is object.keys. Now going over object.values, it's the same thing as object.keys, but it returns the values instead of the keys. So we access this global object that JavaScript gives you for free. And then on that object, we access the dot values method. And then to that method, we pass in whatever object we want. And like I say here, it takes one argument and object, and it returns an array of the values contained in the object that you pass into object.values. So here I have my name and age object once again defined on line 59 and on line number 70 here. I create a constant called values and I assign it to the return value of calling object.values and passing in my name and age object. And here I'm going to get all of the values of my object in an array. So as you can see here, it returns an array of all the values contained in my object here. And I can do the very same thing that I did with my keys here earlier. So I can iterate over it right away with a for loop. I can do something like for const value of object.values and pass in my object. And in each iteration, this will give me each value of my object here. So I can console log this out. And you can see in each iteration, I get every different value of my object. So I think this is maybe one of the most common use cases of these object methods is getting the values of an object and iterating those because you can't just write a for of loop over them like you can get the keys in a for in loop. And then the very final object method I will cover here is object.entries. And it works very similar to the other two methods here, but it returns an array of arrays containing a key value pair of your object. For object.entries, you use the global object just like we did for object.keys and object.values. And we access the dot entries method. It takes one argument and object, and it returns an array of arrays containing a key value pair of all the keys and values of the object that you pass into object.entries. So here, to show you another example, I have my name and age object here once again. On line 97, I define a constant called entries and I assign it to the return value of calling object.entries and passing in my name and age object. And as you can see here, this is going to return an array. So an overall array and each value in the overall array is going to be an array containing my key value pairs of my object. So here I have the key of Joe comma 32. And as you could see my object, my key value pair is Joe colon 32. And then you can see Sue is 68, Brent is 35, and you're going to see all of these key value pairs as an array 
within the overall array that's returned from object.entries. So it returns a two-dimensional array of the key value pairs of whatever object you pass into object.entries. Now, you can also write a for loop over this. And I think the most common way to do this is actually using destructuring. So here I do for const, and then I open up a pair of brackets here and I do key comma value. So for every iteration of this for loop here, it's going to return an array containing the key value pair of my object that I pass into object.entries here. And right away in this for loop, you can just destructure the key value pair. So here I destructure the key and the value, and then that can make it a little bit easier to work with in my for loop here. So here you can see I run this and I get on each iteration, I get the key value pair of all of the keys and values in my object. Now this would be this very same thing as doing something like, I can say const pair of object.entries because it's gonna return that pair, but I was able to destructure it because I knew that this pair was going to be an array, so I could just destructure it right in place. But I can also do something like console.log my pair, and you can see after I do that, I get the very same kind of result here to where I get this key value pair. But just remember that it is an array, and object.entries returns an overall array in which each value of that array is going to be a array of key value pairs of the object you pass in. So in JavaScript, there are three common object methods that you can use to get the keys, values, and key value pairs of your objects. And these are object.keys, object.values, and object.entries. And these can be particularly useful because objects aren't iterable in JavaScript. We can't write a for of loop over objects to get all the values. Now we can write a for in loop and get all the keys over an object, but we can't write a for of loop over them. And all of these methods are accessible on the global object and you can access them by calling object dot keys or values or entries. And then you pass in whatever object you want to that method. And object.keys returns an array of keys of the object you pass in. Object.values returns an array of values of the object you pass in. And object.entries returns an array of arrays containing a key value pair of the object you pass in. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in that next one.